it doesn't make you a loser just because you're living at home. I have struggled with my self-image for the longest time ever. Social media is a highlight reel. Good morning, everyone. Wow, if you guys can't obviously tell, yes, I did wake up and no, I do not care simply because it's the reality. No one's waking up with a face full of makeup and their hair completely done. So I just woke up and I finally decided to jump on here. I feel like I haven't really updated anyone as to what's been going on the past few months. The last time I believe I uploaded a video was the me restarting my life series and I kind of left it at me cleaning up my room, me getting rid of a lot of things and then I was going to jump right into the whole, the physical side of, you know, of me trying to lose weight, me trying to eat better, me trying to just work on myself physically and i realized that that's probably one of the biggest projects that i've been trying to work on and i'm still actually trying to work on it because i want to be very honest i don't just want to like shoot a video and show you guys like yeah i woke up today i ate like um just two eggs and apple slices and a cup of coffee and then for lunch i had like a salad and then for dinner um something light like steak I, I don't know i don't know what these people are doing but that's just kind of like an example of what i'm saying and then it kind of make it seem like okay like i lost like 10 pounds like I, I lost this and that or you know i can feel it this and that but that's i feel like for me that's not me being honest that's not being me being real on here and i decided to just continue working on it it's a very 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 long process i know it is for me especially because i have struggled with my self-image for the longest time ever and this is something that's very personal very 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 vulnerable to me and i want to give myself time and also put in the effort to show people on here and hopefully anyone else on here will be able to relate or feel less alone again i feel like right now the process so far has been it's been of course a journey i will say that but for the most part i feel like for the first time ever i have actually stuck with my promise and sorry that's like my washing machine right now in the background but i feel like i have actually committed to it for the first time ever and i don't want to get too much into it because again i want you guys to watch it and just actually see what i went through what i'm going through and everything but for now i just want to bring you guys along because i officially turned 25. i am 25 and i honestly cannot believe it i decided i would make a video on me just bringing you guys along as a girl 25 who lives at home with her parents and commutes to college let me just jump right into the video before i go on the whole ramble <laughs> so let's make myself a smoothie because that's what i'm kind of feeling this morning so something that i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is that i do work i go to school and i work full time except for this semester simply because i signed up a little later than what i was supposed to so that's why i had to go part-time but the past semester i went full-time and this coming semester in the fall i also plan on going back full-time now where do i work i don't work at a typical corporate job or as an office assistant or anything really in that area i actually work at a hardware store and before anyone has anything negative to say just hear me out basically with my job i feel like my manager has been able to work with me in terms of my schedule so shout out to him he has always helped me whenever it came to that and on top of that it's not a place that i plan on being forever but for now it's something that works for me and i have to do what i have to do so basically that brings me to don't compare yourself with where you're working i know it's so easy to do we can always look at someone else who might be doing better but trust me, just focus on what you have to do and if it makes you happy or if it works for you, just do that. 
do not compare yourself because I know how toxic that could be. So guys, my strawberry banana peanut butter smoothie. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna enjoy this and then after that, I'm just waiting for my clothes to dry up and I'm gonna get ready for my class. So then I will bring you guys along for that too. I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup. I wear very minimal makeup and whenever I do, it's usually maybe some concealer, blush, mascara, and that's pretty much it. I always have to have something on my lips though. I always have to have something. And right now, at the very moment, what I'm obsessed with is Summer Fridays. And this one, I don't know, I forgot what brand it is. Oh, it says it right here. I can't really see though. Revlon, I guess. Um, this one's just from the drugstore, of course, and this one is from Sephora. So I actually am running late to class, so I have to go right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm wearing on my lips. I'm wearing a little bit of blush, nothing else, just because I wasn't really in the mood. And a simple, comfortable outfit. Comparison is truly a thief of joy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that exact feeling, as if I'm missing out as if I'm not doing the right thing, as if I'm left behind. But to be honest, we are all on our own separate journey. No one else's life is going to look the exact same. Okay guys, so I am officially back home now. This is my dog, his name is Sparky. I have to start putting together a bunch of clothes that I am donating. I know from my previous video, I was already going through my closet, things that I wanted to list on Poshmark and other clothes that I wanted to just donate and I actually still need to link my Poshmark down in the description just in case anyone on here wants to check it out maybe want to purchase anything I promise you guys I have made the prices pretty affordable we actually got this like slip in the mail something about how I guess uh, where is it that organization I believe it's called again don't come for me I might be pronouncing it wrong it's I believe lupus lupus i believe and they're asking for any type of donations to leave them outside of course you, you would have to like call them or text them and i thought that was really great so i know i definitely have some things that i would love to just give away to them they will just donate it Oops. one bag is completely done and ready to go now I know I need to look through my shoes too because I have shoes that I haven't worn in the longest time ever. So let me go check those out. These I know I don't wear. These, these were only worn like maybe once also. It is currently three o'clock. I have to go pick up my mom at 3.30. And for those that may be wondering why, my mom doesn't know how to drive and she usually, when I can't, she gets a ride from one of her coworkers or if I'm available, of course, on the days that I do go to school, I'm the one that picks her up. So since I have about half an hour, I think I'm going to be maybe editing a few things that I want to get done because I actually started a whole new Instagram account where I am documenting my 20s and just uploading well at least I'm trying to uploading like a few different videos or just like motivation or any like nice friendly reminders because I know what it's like being in your 20s and feeling so alone and confused and just constantly wondering if you're doing the right thing I'm not gonna lie I still sometimes when I get in like that type of funk I constantly compare my life to other people. I feel like I have been doing a little bit better for the past like few months, but I know before that, like I'm always comparing myself because again, I'm 25 and I'm living with my parents. I know there are some people that are either younger than me or the same age and they're posting their whole life and it looks glamorous it looks like they're having a great time it looks like they have their own place it looks like they have everything figured out 
and that kind of makes me feel like am I behind like am, am I not doing the right thing like a loser or something like that but I know that this is just the path that I'm currently on and this is my own journey I know eventually everything's going to fall into place I have the biggest feeling ever and I know it's also not just gonna magically happen per se but I also know that if I'm putting in the work if I'm going to be putting in the effort I know it's going to work out so I think that's also just another reminder for anyone else that might be feeling like that it doesn't make you a loser just because you're living at home I know right now especially with like the economy I know some people are not as fortunate and you know they maybe they don't have the best relationship with their parents and that leaves them to having to look for a place and they might be struggling and again everyone's situation is completely different again if you're maybe on the same boat if you're probably feeling like you're left behind you are not my friend trust me on this i know what it's like and i know how easily consumed we could be by social media and just be so like upset or just constantly comparing ourselves but just don't again just don't because social media is a highlight reel we're only ever going to see the best moments of someone's life very rare that we're ever going to see like the downfall or the negative side of what someone might be going through so people are always going to be showing their best moments but again you keep on focusing on what you have to do and keep on putting in the work keep on showing up especially that keep on showing up and i promise you it's going to be okay you'll be just fine he goes hi mom hi <laughs> So as in skincare routine, this is what I've been using for my face wash. So far, I've been really liking it, especially because I have very sensitive skin, so I feel like this does the job. For anyone in their 20s, just know this. You are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And maybe you feel like you're stuck, maybe you feel like you're left behind, or as if you're not doing the right thing. But trust me, everything's going to fall into place, one day at a time. Just focus on you and on your own journey.